The Supreme Court has just ruled against bump stock bans in a horrendous new verdict going against even Republicans and Donald Trump himself who passed the original sets of bans, but now Republicans seem to be doing a complete 180 signaling support of this ruling that thrusts guns back into the political spotlight and a lot more danger into our society. Clarence Thomas, who wrote the opinion that was six to three along the conservative judge's lines, wrote that because each trigger depression only releases one shot, it's not transforming these guns into machine guns. However, for those who don't know or aren't aware, bump stocks allow these rifles to fire up to 800 rounds a minute, which is pretty close to automatic fire, as when the gun recoils, it bumps, the stock bumps the trigger to the shooter's finger, allowing the rifle to continue fire with no added effort. The ruling comes not only after the NRA has lobbied the Supreme Court for years now for more favorable decisions, but after more Multiple shootings have been carried out with these exact stocks, including a 2017 Las Vegas festival that was the deadliest mass shooting to date and was a lot of the reasoning behind the original bans. Biden and Democrats have already called on Republicans to help them pass legislation to reenact these bans and to do it through Congress so that the Supreme Court can't rule against it, with Chuck Schumer saying this. Soon as tomorrow, Democrats will seek passage of a federal ban on bump stocks, and I urge my Republican colleagues, not to block Senator Heinrich when he comes to the floor. He's the, he's the author of the bill banning bump stocks and leading the charge to get it passed quickly. Passing a bill banning bump stocks should be the work of five minutes. Most Americans support this step. Poll after poll show that a majority of people, including independents, support restrictions on AR-15 style rifles, which is what bump stocks are designed to emulate. I understand that the issue of gun safety provokes intense disagreement in Congress, but shouldn't we all agree that preventing another tragedy like Las Vegas is just plain common sense and a good thing? Banning bump stocks would go a long way to making it harder for murderers to carry out large shootings. And he's exactly right. Banning bump stocks don't infringe on the Second Amendment. It doesn't hurt the gun industry in any way, but it does prevent those looking to carry out mass levels of violence from doing it a lot easier than they would have. We as a society should want to protect the more vulnerable people in the society from inventions that are only designed to help harm large amounts of people in small amounts of time. And there's not one justified reason that anyone could give for the necessity of bump stocks. There's not a single reason you would need one other than to hurt large amounts of people in small amounts of time. This was directly enabled, however, through the extreme conservative Supreme Court majority that Trump himself put in office. It doesn't matter how he himself ruled on these bump stock bans. It definitely doesn't matter how Republicans ruled now that they're 180 their position since the conservative Supreme Court ruled against it. And it's just even more reason that we can, one, hope that sensible Republicans allow legislation to get passed that the Supreme Court can't touch but to keep Biden in office and allow him to appoint liberal judges when this next cycle comes around to keep the Supreme Court from being able to impose these dangerous rulings on America. If you enjoyed this video, we're Social Society. We're a commentary channel influenced by politics, society, and the economy. We are pretty left-leaning on this channel, but we're open to our right-wingers as well. The biggest thing here is having conversations that get everyone to the bottom of the truth. If that sounds like something that could interest you, consider smashing that subscribe button leaving us a like, or even commenting on this video. We even have memberships available as low as $3 if you'd like to support, because the only way we become a society is together.